Why, hello everybody. Hello. It's been a while. Two weeks. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been two weeks since I last made a video, so welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. And today we are going to be playing Bear and Breakfast. <gasps> ah, I'm so excited. I can't even put into words. I've not watched anyone play this game. I've refrained from watching anyone play it. And I really, really, really wanted to because Gab Smolder, she was doing, like, she's got her full Bear and Breakfast series and I'm like, I really want to watch it, but I'm not gonna because I want to be, I want it to be fresh and new for me. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so, so excited. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy it, then hopefully we can continue this as a series. I did do a poll in my community tab um, and a lot of you wanted to see Bear and Breakfast. Also Majora's Mask, which I will get to at some point. Um, I just really wanted to play Boom Breakfast, so that's what we're playing today. Let's get into it, here we go, start game. Empty slot. Whoa. Oh, why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Space is advanced, X is skip. Okay, we don't want to skip, so there we go. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing present pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Is it like a bird or something? Wow. <laughs> Bright! <laughs> Suddenly a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. We had thunder the other day actually. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Well, that's not good. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Oh, Hank! Hello? He's just so cute. I can't move. Do not. Don't want to see, because that's already happening. <laughs> His little ear twitches. I can't go. Did it? Was I to do something? Damn it! Oh! Have I to do something? Oh, here we go. Well, that's convenient. Here we go, this is how we move. Oh, there we go. I have not played with a keyboard in years. This is so weird. You mean like an introspection thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. <gasps> nice, let's do it. E to interact, okay. Gotcha. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. What is this? So is there like a dark story element to this? I thought it was just a cute little hotel management game. That's it, no more dumbbells before bed. Oh, look at the little bear! That's nice mom! Oh, better see what's up. Did I get out of bed? Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Oh my, I am so not used to controlling the keys. Wow. Okay, how did I get out? There we go. What is up here? Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Where do I go? I can't go anywhere. That's not a door. There we go. Oh, look, it's his mom. Oh, cute little face. Oh. Oh. Mom. Oh. And look at the little, like, baby Hank there. Ah, so cute. 
I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Margaret. Margaret and Hank. Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? <laughs> Please, face. I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will. Probably. Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake them up. All right, honey. Show tutorial, the basics. Well, in adventure mode, you can control Hank using Wazada and walk around the world. You can zoom in the camera and out using the mouse wheel. <laughs> oh, that would be a little baby Hank. Um, interact with different things in the world by pressing E. Got it. The game uses an auto save feature. Do not exit the game. Blah blah blah. Oh, well, this animation is displayed. <laughs> Y equals A X Autosave. <laughs> you know it says game settings, achievements and more through the pause menu. Great, okay. Oh I like that you can zoom in as well, that's quite cool. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to wait oh, I can interact. He <laughs> he he turned it off. Turn off the light. What else can I do? Anything else? Also, I hope, I really hope you can't hear my keyboard because it's so loud. I got a mechanical one, so apologies if you can hear <laughs> the clicky clicks of my keyboard. Uh, so I can assume I can go this way now. Who is that tiny burb? Good. Get out. <laughs> Morning. Out. That's not very good morning of you. I freaking love Hank so much already. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Oh, delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, mum said she might let us- I need to stop saying mum. Actually, mum said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell ya? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning, we're up, let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> I love how small Will is. He's like this tiny. Oh, what's this? Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready, here it comes. Coming. Okay, here we go. Adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Your inventory is accessed through the adventure mode menu, it holds every item you find in the world. You can use filters or the organized buttons to sort through items magically. Or throw away whatever you don't need using the delete slot. The mini map displays your current location, daytime, and allows you to navigate the world. Okay, so here, inventory. Nice. I don't have anything yet, obviously. What's this? Character? Oh, tag! Baby Hank! <laughs> I'm assuming I can dress him up there. Great, okay, let's go. Oh, that animation though, like, oh! He's so... floppy. <laughs> He's so cuddly! Ah! Okay, what's this? Can I take these? What is denim anyway? Oh, is it just like, interacting with it? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I like playing like this, but I do be able, like being able to see. Oh, out right here. Oh, here's Mama. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. <laughs> Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. I need to give them voices. Good enough. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Good, today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. <laughs> point 
to black moss. What? What? I know. I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. Ah! <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weeds. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! <laughs> anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. The notebook times one collectible. Find it in your collectibles inventory. Awesome. Don't lose it again. I won't. Hero. Hero. <laughs> All right, you three. Three. Uh, remember, you're getting that bundle straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Collectibles, you just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectibles are special items you unlock for your character that give various perks. You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. You can now access the quest log from the menu bar. It shows your current quest, allows you to track them. Quest which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game it will be flagged. Okie dokie, let's go. What does this do? Odd looking fella. Indeed. Well stood up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley? <laughs> Dunno, I fell asleep halfway through. Look at Marley's so small! Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. And literally walking here. Okay, dokie. Let's see, what is that? Okay, so... Do we just travel south from here, do we think? Oh, Can't read what it says. Okay, so we can't go that way. Oh, is it this way? Oh, oh look at them, the R is so cute. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before, past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Annie, the Caroline, Car Carolean dog? Brave but clumsy. Well, well, the poor will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. Oh, he's so cute with his little hat. And Hank, the brown bear, a baby, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, ma'am, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. We are definitely going to wander in an adventurous fashion. All right, gang, sp spread out. Whoa, it's dark. It's very dark. Um, find some alligator weed from Margaret. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can't go on like these bits, so I need to I go up and around. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So let's go over here. Oh, it leads you to them. Okay. Edgy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Mm, cool. <laughs> e. Oh, tire screech. What in the what? She made the same face that I just made there. What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. We haven't found the, <laughs> we haven't found the thing for your mum yet. I'm a thank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mum said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weeds. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the trunk. <laughs> no, come back. Oh, Hank, he's such a sweetie. Ooh, I see something in here. That's one big rock. 
else can we do? Hmm. Let's go around. How do I get there? Hmm. Okay, so I need to go all the way around here, I think. Up here. And then down. Oh no, I can't. It's not going to let me. Hmm. It's telling me to go up here. Okay. Travelling. Oh, that an achievement. The little rebel. Oh. Hmm. Investigate the loud noise. Oh, nice. I've took some stuff. Take all. Oh, nice. Paint. Oh, crafting table. Okay, I'm assuming it's going to tell me how to do all this at some point. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Is this going to be our place? I think it is. Okay, let's go up here. <laughs> nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Pardon. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little grey speaker was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. <laughs> that, that's, that's quite smart, I like that. Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine. Gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share and the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pawn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. What the... Offering secure tourist, touristry, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewellery or expensive heirloom of your choice and we'll give you a 1-3 to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. <laughs> Bon Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley, we will take any location or premises, no matter how rundown or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them, then they stare at the trees and try to forget wherever they're running from. Wow, wow. That's true. That's very, very, very fair. <laughs> I read in a magazine, humans are whack. If you are a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces. <laughs> and drastically, barely, after your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. Are we gonna press the button? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade. Primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. And that is more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. 
I just don't care for them, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> I love, I love the dialogue. The writing is so cute. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest, it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down sheds. They're all abandoned anyway. Shark, we're in. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. <laughs> Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. <laughs> Welcome to the family air unknown pattern. <laughs> Name sent you. You are now contractually ob obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? <laughs> no, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and they get scared easily. Again, that's very true. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cosy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Okay. Go to sawdust through timber crossing. I do like the arrow actually, it's kind of handy. All it's missing is a picnic basket. Travelling. <laughs> Ooh, find Tony the beaver. Tony! Tony! Where are you, Tony? Ooh. What's up here? There's a lot of wood and I'm taking it all because I don't know when I'm going to need it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Can I go up here? Mm. Oh, what are these things? Wood pile. Okay, so it's like a lot of... Widow. Tony must be down the way actually, the arrow is pointing. I want to explore. I wonder where a tree this big could fit. Am I just stealing all of Tony's wood that he's just carefully placed around this area for future reference? Okay, Tony, I've stole all your wood, but you know, I need your help. So, uh, can you come help me, Tony? Please. Please. Please, Tony. Please, Tony. Oh, I see him! I see him! Sorry, Tony, just taking one last of your wood pile. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. Hey, Tony. By God, a bear! It's just me, sir, Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk. <laughs> I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got help? Well, why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Cross and oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing the humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. I like how people has a capital. <laughs> people. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers in schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? 
Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. I will need my backsaw and a mallet and a ladder. Oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? Oh, who did on that? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. I think I've already done that. Yeah. So did you find all the wood? Uh, I think I did. Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Ah, uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Literally. That I literally, I, I stole it from you, I'm sure. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Cross and I'll see you there. Help the little help. Come oh, it's, I didn't realise that I was going to do that. Oh, there we go. Come on, this is the night. Okay, that's better actually because I... I don't know what it is, I just, I actually genuinely don't like night in games. It's very rarely I won't mind a game at night. Because I, I just hate not being able to see. I love vision. <laughs> okay. Me 20 back in Timber Crossing. Let's do it. Oh, I clicked on that, I don't know. Tony! Tony! Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. I haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to have, ought to be enough. I'll get started on this first. I'll get started on this first. You'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Okay. Clean it all up. Clean it all up. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean. We're cleaning. We're cleaning. Is that rubbish is that? That's it. I think that's it. That was easy. Did you clean up the shed? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree hang. Grab some wood and put it, put it back together while I tidy up the place. La 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 la. Pinewood plank. Confirm. Oh, next step. Never used to build rooms and craft furniture. No building available in the area. Okay, so I need to go back. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. <laughs> uh, thanks. Excuse me. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's building something. Baby's first building achievement unlocked. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans go over the stone cold floors in itchy here a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here. This is none of those things, but it'll do. Pon Voyage has new items available. Visit the shop. Shabby palette bed recipe. Go make one at the workbench. Okay, okay. Whoa. Dinky shed. Okay. Okay. Crafting. Bed. Ooh, okay. Belgium inventory exit. And then I... Oh. Oh, nice! I made a bedroom. Exit. But what do they want me to do? Craft a bed. I did craft a bed. I did craft a bed. Oh, have I jumped ahead? Is that why? Uh, craft. 
Oh, I think I've jumped ahead. <gasps> B. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than this skeleton. <laughs> but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than men back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Okay, I've already done that, so there we go. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir, stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. But having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about them. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward really. Front desk. You got him. Do I rotate? Uh, hmm. Can I rotate? Um, okay. Did you place the front desk? Yes, it's in there. Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. <laughs> oh, I love Hank. He is a little angel. Congratulations. Your premium property is now listed on the network. Nice. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, look at him, he's got his little suntan lotion on his nose. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage calling them unqualified harbin harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mum always said. Keep your distance. <sighs> Love by those words. <laughs> so much for that. Congratulations. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. <sighs> hardly life-changing. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Fatima Humphreys. Accept. Uh, sign. Okay, request accepted, Fatima Humphreys will arrive tomorrow. Great, okay. One guest arrived at one of your, some of your resorts. You've got no stay requests. Here's Fatima! Oh, she looked scared. There she is. Hi Fatima. Oh, she's away. Bye. Fatima, where are you going? Fatima! Is she away? Is that her done? We have another guest request, so I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that. Let's see details. Guest request. Guest request sex. Oh my gosh. Oh, alert, alert! It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige. It is ugly, but it looks just like my room. Oh, baby. Gosh, this the world is actually really quite big. Like, look at this. Ooh, who's this little guy? Hello. Took. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I left here. Where did you come from? All right, enough of the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I don't know. I imagine him to have a Jersey accent. I can't do a Jersey accent, though. I'm looking for something humans like, something that would make them feel more distinguished. Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. 
Okay. Snack for took. Snack for took. Um, what way am I going? South, did I say? Yes. Um, south, south, south. Snack. Ooh, for you. Take. <laughs> Oh, I just stole it, okay. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your legs around my buses before. Hmm, I like your hair. Soft bear noises. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver, I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Ha, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before, does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I just can't leave my buses. And there's not been any posts since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? Quest, scratch the envelope. She usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. I can deliver your letter, my man. Your letter is safe with me. First, I need to deliver a sandwich to a good little raccoon. So did you find any grub? Yeah, yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mm -hmm. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> all right, you British charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. There's new items. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. I mean real valuables. <laughs> Who knows what kind of goods we'll have in the shop. Okay, can I see? Can I see what you've got in the shop? Oh, here we go, here we go. Ah, here we go. Okay, small bear painting. I want it. Give me it. Give me the small bear pin and give me two small bear paintings. Um, uh, what else do I want? What else do I want? A welcome rug. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Small potted prayer plant, flower vase, janky floor mirror, drawers, that would be nice. Um, a rug, that would be nice as well. Okay. Do I have enough stuff? Oh, I've still got some. Uh, let's take two nice stands then. Oh, look at us, just going crazy. Um, and we'll take a lamp as well. Uh, a lamp, a plant. Okay. Thanks. Have I got all that stuff now? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Close. Let's go. Let's go place them. Oh, let me place. Okay. Everyone gets a drawer in their room. Because we are just sprucing up the joint. Welcome, Matt. Um, but you can't see it behind the door. Well, the object is outside the blueprint area of the house. Okay. Well, it's there. We know it's there. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put a little bear painting above everyone's bed, just so they remember who it is that's running the joint. There must be a rotate button. I really need to figure it out. But in the meantime, you get a rug at your feet um, and you get a plant at your bedside table. Uh, does that take us up any prestige level at all? Or... No. No? Not at all. Is that a piece of rubbish in there? <gasps> Fatima, are you just littering around this place? Like... Excuse moi Oh, I collected nine valuables there. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. Okay. I don't know why it's... Oh, there we go. Okay, it does say. Oriana leaves tomorrow. Henrik is gonna arrive tomorrow. Okay. Hi, Oriana. Hi. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hope you enjoy your stay. Um... Da da da. What do you want? Oh, yeah. Always make sure, okay, that's right. Press the green button. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. 
Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you may be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. Ah, oh, he's gone. Okay. Finley is buying construction placards in every area. These placards have optional building and management quests. Each will reward you. Upon completion, new guests will demand better accommodations, but also pay more for their stay. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're getting money for this. <laughs> I thought that was litter. It's our little poster. Good, good Oriana, because if you'd littered, I would not be happy. You would not be coming back to stay. Litter in our home? Mm -mm. No, no, no. It's a no-go for me. I think I might end this first episode here. I think we're at a good spot. We finished the task with the shark, Finn, and yeah, we're kind of just really getting into the, the, the thick of it and building our bear and breakfast bed and breakfast um i love this game i think it is so darn cute hank i love you i love him and he's little ear twitch so much before i played the game i drew a picture of hank um on twitter and i got a lot of shares surprisingly um but I just, I loved the full look of the game and the character design before I'd even played it. And now that I've played it and I'm like reading the dialogue and it's just so funny. It's so, so good. Let me know if you guys enjoy. Um, oh, she's going to run away from me. She's running away. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. Hey. Yeah. So definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this because I would love to get like a running series going on my channel and I feel like this might be the perfect first game for that so be sure to let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, let me know as well if you've played Bear and Breakfast. I know it's not out on the Switch yet and I know a lot of my friends are actually waiting for it to release on the Switch before they play it. Um, so I know a lot of people might not have played it yet but do let me know if you've played it. It is so worth it. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one and until next time, goodbye.